broccoli. I'm breaking it up into the florets and I'm going to take, cut that up into more manageable pieces. Now we will cook quicker, more even, easier to pick up and eat with the chopsticks, all that good stuff. There we go. Now broccoli's going to go into the steamer for just a little bit till it, till it just gets done. Take, we're going to cut up some chicken breast. Now, because part of this recipe I can halfway do in advance, I'm going to go ahead and do a double batch of my chicken and double batch of my broccoli because then I, for the next day I can also make another batch real quick. All i got to do is whip up some sauce, whatever I'm in the mood for, throw it all together, and it's done. So anyway, i got a chicken breast here. I'm going to trim this up. I had two chicken breasts. One of them I've already sliced. I'm happy with it. Let's go ahead and slice this one up. I trimmed off excess fat. Now I'm going to cut this into slices. Kind of going across the grain of the breast here. Going about that thickness right there. We'll just keep chopping this up. So let's take and marinate our chicken. We're going to put a little rice wine on here. This is the uh, Shaoxing rice wine. You can use sake or whatever, or if you don't drink, just use a little water. I'll mix this up. A little bit of soy sauce. Egg white. Mix this up, you don't want a whole bunch of extra egg white. It takes about, for eight ounces of chicken, it takes about half of an egg white. And since I have a pound of chicken, I'm using a whole egg white. And see how it's all pretty much disappeared? That's what we want. We don't want a bunch of that extra egg white, or it'll make a funky, out, like a crust. I don't want that. Cornstarch. And then we're going to Mix this up, and then what we're going to wind up doing is we're going to velvet this chicken, but we're velveting it in water today. We're not frying it, and uh, it's a little more healthier that way. It's almost as good. It does taste a little better, and the texture's a little better when you do lightly fry it in oil for the velveting, but it that gives you a lot of extra calories and a lot of extra fat that we really don't have to have. Anyway, we'll let this marinate for a little bit. Okay, my broccoli's been steaming for just a couple of minutes. It's bright green, starting to get tender, but it's just tender. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn that off, and that's done. We'll take it out. We'll rinse it in some cold water to stop it from cooking, and then we'll put that aside. Okay, so now i got some water that's boiling. i got my chicken here. Now remember, this is a pound of chicken, so this is a double batch. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do it all together. We want to put this in here. If you want to keep it stirring, you got to keep it moving, or it'll tend to stick together. Now we're going to turn the heat off and we're just going to keep stirring this until it gets just starting to cook on the outside good. That'll take about two minutes. Now this is about a minute and a half. See how that chicken's turning opaque like that? Now it's time to take it out. Okay, let's make our sauce. Now normally I use chicken stock, but today I, the only chicken stock I had was in a box and it was in the top shelf of the refrigerator and it was frozen. So can't hardly use frozen chicken stock. So I'm using a, some water, got some garlic and ginger. Now the measurements, I've got, the, I'll put the measurements in the uh, descriptions down below. I'm gonna put some soy sauce in here. Using hoisin sauce. A little bit of honey. Using some black vinegar. It's pretty good stuff. But it's pretty strong, so it goes a long ways. But it's very similar to balsamic. 
if you can't find black vinegar or don't want to buy black vinegar just for making one dish, use some balsamic. It'll work just fine. It's not, it's not authentically Chinese, but hey, that's good enough. A little bit of sesame oil. Not too much of that. That's also pretty strong stuff. A little bit of white pepper. We'll mix this up and then we'll set it over by our stove. Now the one great thing about this dish is because you're cooking, essentially cooking the chicken ahead of time, you're cooking the broccoli ahead of time, you can literally make batch after batch of batch of this. You could cook the chicken the day before, the chicken and the broccoli the day ahead or the morning of and then you could easily sit there and just keep whipping it out batch after batch. Okay, this thing is starting to smoke. Let's put some oil in here. We'll swirl this oil around. Make sure the oil and the pan are both equally hot and get a nice coating of oil all over the place. Now we're going to put about half of our chicken in because remember this is a double batch. Yeah, still got a little water in there. All we're doing right now is we're just going to put some color on the chicken. Chicken trying to stick on me a little bit today. We got a little color on it. Go ahead and put our sauce in. I'm going to put about half of that in. It's like I got a, it's like I made a double batch of sauce too. We'll bring this up to a good boil. Okay, we're almost done here. Just a touch of dark soy sauce. Just to help color everything. Give us that nice brown color. Yeah, that's what I want right there. Now we're going to thicken this up. I got some cornstarch and water. Just the standard thickening agent. About the thickness that I want. Turn the heat off. Actually, that's a little too thick. Splash a little more sauce in there. There's nothing you can't correct. I'm going to turn that heat back on. Before it starts with a long ways a day. broccoli in. Now we'll turn that off because all we're really doing with the broccoli is just getting it hot because it's already cooked. I don't want to I don't want to cook it in the mush. And we'll put that on a plate and serve it.